All right, I'm going to show you how to insert your parabola selfie into Desmos. So you're going to take your picture and you're just going to drag it right here, not into the graph, right where it says drop image here. And it'll automatically put it in the graph for you. Okay, um, we would like it to be in the first quadrant, so we're going to move it. When anytime you want to move the picture, you have to do it from the middle. All of these out here will move, um, adjust the size of it. So let's first move it into the first quadrant. And then we can do it a little bit more here. Um, you should have your dimensions, so you should have measured um, the width and the height um, to figure out the vertex and whatnot. So I'm going to have to adjust my settings over here. And I'm going to maybe leave it at negative right now. And I know that my dimensions were um, about 68 inches. Um, so I'm going to go to just to 100, just to make sure I have enough size here. And probably about for the y-axis, um, my dimensions were, I believe, 36, so maybe I'll go 50, okay, for now. Um, and then I'm going to change my step to 5 and 5. These may change as I adjust the picture, but I just kind of want to have somewhere to start. So now I'm going to adjust my picture, and that's how I'm going to do that here. And I want to have it, I want to have my width here about 68, so I'm going to continue to adjust. All right. So here's my 68. Okay. And you can move it around and whatnot. Okay. I'm going to switch over to the screen that I've already done this in so I can quickly show you what I did. Okay. I then got it to the dimensions of which I measured. So I'm about 68 inches across the width. And I have my height here, about accurate. So you can adjust the picture however you need to for your dimensions. I then decided to choose two points to create my parabola. So I chose a point here, and you can see that I just put it in here so I can visually see it. And then I try to find another point that's going to allow me to um, create my parabola and have enough information. Once I do that, then I can put in the equation, and it's y equals, I had 2 divided by 45, and that's my a, parentheses, x minus 40, so you can see my vertex there, I must square it, and then it's up 5, and you can see it graphs it for me. Okay, you can adjust it if you feel like you want it to be a little stretched or compressed based on your parabola. Um, but that is how you can create your picture for your project.